Good afternoon. I'd like, to, I'd like you to imagine yourself as a fish, swimming in a lake, eating your favorite food, when all of a sudden a stranger comes in, steals the food right from under you, and before you know it, him and his buddies have taken over your entire lake. Well, invasive species are that stranger and do just that to local fish. So what do you do? A foreign leader might suggest building a multi-billion dollar wall and making the other country pay for it. But realistically, and in spite of spending $120 million a year trying to manage them, invasive species like the zebra mussel and round goby behind me have been around for decades and in many ways become a part of the ecosystem. Now, I want to introduce you to a freshwater dinosaur living right here in the Great Lakes, the lake sturgeon. Lake sturgeon are an amazing fish. They can grow to be two meters in length, live for 150 years, and have been around since the Triassic period. That's approximately 200 million years ago. But their story is a tragic one. Because they live so long, it takes them a long time before they reproduce. So things like habitat destruction and overfishing really blew their population numbers out of the water. But because they live so long, I was able to use them to look back in time and see how the introduction of these invasive species actually become a part of lake sturgeon diet. After anal and we were able to answer this all by looking at a small sample from their fin, no bigger than the size of your thumbnail. After analyzing 387 lake sturgeon across Lake Huron, St. Clair River, Lake St. Clair, Detroit River, and the Niagara River, we found that lake sturgeon don't actually feed on zebra mussels, suggesting that they're not as important to lake sturgeon diet as previously believed. But they did feed on round goby, and in some instances made up over 90% of their diet, suggesting that uh, round goby and potentially other invasive species now become a new prey source for local fish. Our findings, um, will help in the recovery of the decimated lake sturgeon population, as well as inform invasion managers about the complex role invasive species play today as a new menu item. Thank you.